G'day guys, welcome back to another match day vlog. Today I'm going to the MCG for Richmond v Port Adelaide. Here we go, going with a second match day vlog as I'm going to go for a double game attendance and match day vlog next week, next Sunday for Easter Sunday as, as I'll be going to Dogs and Eagles uh, in Richmond, Sydney. Come out to the train station so far, ready to catch a train to Richmond to get to the MCG. See you there. Here are some early predictions before the train leaves the station. We've got 10 minutes before it does go and I, I tipped Richmond to win it by 7 points. Dusty to get at least 3 goals against Player Lane because as Richmond I play really strong at the MCG. Yeah, hopefully, hope it's going to be a good, good, good game of footy and not, not a belting. Alrighty guys, just arriving at the station. All of a sudden, the door's open on the other side. Here we are guys, this is my spot for the game. Scoreboard's ready. This is pre-game, I think there's like an an hour and a half uh, before the game starts. Here we are, before, just before the game, went to the food store, grabbed my son a hot dog, absolute thing. Congratulations to Travis Boak. This is his 350th game this afternoon. Right, here we go, Ford's about to run out. Here we go, The Marshall takes a spectacular mark in from the boundary. Can he kick a goal from the boundary? Here we go. To get Port second. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it's close. William Drew to get Port second. He's got it. He's got it. He's kicked it. Port half their second. Hawk kicks to their second goal. They lead by eight points here. 1-2-8 to 2-4-16, 17 minutes into the first. Alright, here we go. Good kick. Close on. To get Richmond second. He's got it. Five. Richmond kicked their second. It's Ryan Mike Mansell who slots it on the run. Lovely handball to Mansell and he just slots it. Back within five points. One more goal and the Tigers will be in front. All right, here we go. Here's another chance for Richmond. Oh, that's a bad kick. Oh, wait, it's going to work. Bolter. Bolter, he's got it. He's got it. The Tigers are in front. Here we go to put court in front at quarter time. It's Miles Bergman. Bergman slots it. Power in front by five at quarter time. Quarter time here at the MCG. Port lead by five points after a goal after the siren by Miles Bergman. Richmond did take, a, take the lead at like, I don't know, like two minutes left into the quarter, but it was a good kick by the Port offense, and then Bergman gets the ball, gets the set shot, he slots it, then in front. Really tight contest throughout this game. Lots of Lots of controversial decisions makes makes the fans really bad, but hopefully uh, we get more entertaining stuff in the second quarter. We could, yes, they are. They're out. They're out here. Martin. Now here we go. Here we go. He takes the bounce. Oh, that's a great bounce. Great handball. Can he finish it? Yeah. Yes. Which we're back in front now. Up by four now. It was Marlon Pickett who who got the handball on the run. 
that play was absolutely sensational from the center square and then that resulted in a well-deserved Richmond goal. Oh! Dusty! Dusty! Oh! Magnificent kick by Dr. Martin. That is magnificent kick. Did he get it? Yes! Magnificent play by Dr. Martin to Rioli in the next And Rioli gives the targets back the lane. Half time here at the MCG, the Tigers lead the power by 11 points. Last time the power led by 5, now this time Richmond are now leading at the half. 7.950 to 5.939. Got some chips from the G, absolutely delicious. Told you, that is actually a really good contest to watch. Actually enjoyed watching going to this game. I really second half brings us more entertainment, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Here we go to Opa Hogsdemola, ready to get the second half underway. Here we go. Houston has another one for Port. That is now three in a row now. Concerns for Tigers now, but not really concerning, they're only just down by a goal. A one more goal for Richmond and they'll tie the game all up. Taranto to snap to get it back to single goal. No way, he's got it! Back! That's what the Tigers needed. That's what the Tigers needed. They reduced the margin to a single goal. The score is 8 9 to 9 9. 14 minutes into the third. To keep the Tigers alive. He's got it. He's got it. Liam Baker gets one back. That's his first of the afternoon. The Tigers is back within 13 points. Here we go. No, Na Nan Curvis is the captain, not Baker. What a ripping game of football here at the MCG. Liam Baker again. He's got to kick after the siren. On three quarter time to reduce the margin to seven. The scores right now currently 71 to 84. Gonna get it to 77 to 84 from 50. Oh, no one! Right. No one! Right. Oh! Take a bow, Liam Baker. Three quarter time here at the MCG. After four Adelaide leads by 20 points, Liam Baker has kicked back-to-back kicked -back goals really quick for Richmond. Now they're back within seven points. We've got a big last quarter coming up. Holy moly. 11-11 to 12-12. Here we go. Come on. Last quarter, here we go. It's seven points of difference. The umpire bounces the ball to start the final quarter. Right now, here we go. Just as Baker got back within seven points for Richmond, Port Adelaide just kicked one back. They're out by 13, back out. Oh, it's gonna be really tough. Like two or three more goals for Port without Richmond kicking one. Oh, it's gonna be another one. They've got another one. Now they're out to 19. That's two goals quick for Port. He's got to seal the deal. See you later. But here we are. I'm with Cardi here. Cardi. Oh, we got fans. I love the Sporting Loop channel. Get it, lads. How are you doing? That's good. See ya. DMT Jays. Christ. Four and later leading Richmond by 26 points. 14 minutes into the last. Join with one of the YouTubers. Cardi, how are you doing? for another one. How, did you go to Dogs and Sons? Yeah, I was at Dogs and Sons. I went straight to this game. I'm like, you know what? Catch the last quarter. 
You caught the last quarter. Of you... This game, so I got here at uh, three quarter time. Ah. Todd Marshall. To get it to 31 point. Right through the middle. Two turn. Free kick. Oh my god almighty. Sunday, which won't be Sydney Swans here at 4 o'clock. The game earlier than, than this one next week is the Dogs and Eagles at Marvel Stadium. The Dogs should win that game, but hopefully, hopefully we dress in and put on a classic next week. There you go, how good is this? Travis Boak's 350th game. A true Port Adelaide legend. Really deserved the win for his club. There you go guys, that's going to be it for another match day vlog between Wickham and Port Adelaide. Obviously it's a really good contest between in the first three quarters, but, um, but Port Adelaide just ran away with it with a 30 point win over Wickham, so obviously it got it wrong. I took the risk and took the Tigers as I want, expect them to win, win one at the G, but, but unfortunately that is not the case. Anyways, if you guys like this match show vlog, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos such as weekly vlogs, match day vlogs, tips and predictions vlog and my footy live streams in this 2024 China Animal 26 season. Until then, thanks for watching. We got the power to win.